Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we are finishing up All-Star Battle. I recorded this last night, but uh, I didn't get it up last night. It was a holiday, so we're doing all that. But today, I got the gameplay for you here, and just like the previous All-Star Battle gameplay video, I'm not really so much looking to get kills in this. I'm just looking to progress this. So this is going to be about like a 20 minute video if I remember the time of the recording. I'm just trying to complete the missions as fast as I can. That way I can go back in and just farm out the waves that I think are the best. And we'll talk about what wave I think is the best in this. I don't really farm it in this one. I'm pretty sure I blow by it pretty quickly. I'll touch on it in this video, but I'm sure this video isn't going to get a ton of attention. Usually these kinds of all-star battle videos don't. I'm not really worried about that. I'll make another video talking about the wave for the best part of farming for this for this first half. Oh my god, I just realized my big camera is not in front of that other one, so that's fixed. Scuffed for off jump. We're a minute in, and it's absolutely scuffed, and we won, and I blocked it. On to the next one. So, basically, I'm just running through as fast as possible. I believe there's a few instances here where I use common writer's leader ability but i don't know so i'm not gonna say i do but i honestly had a little bit more fun trying to blow through this first half of all-star battle than i normally do and i don't know what the reason is maybe it's because like the common rider unit like the enemy common riders or like the enemy kumo augment like Maybe they just add something different to the battlefield for all-star battle that I appreciate a little bit more than regular, like, like how all-star battles have been in the past. But at the same time, I don't really enjoy Kumo Augment at, it, at like any capacity in this game. And it's, ugh, it's so annoying, but at least in the first half of all-star battle, he's pretty tame. He's not like crazy, crazy, like difficult to get past. However, oh my god, I do think in the second half of this, man, he's going to be a menace. Kumo Augment is going to run the second half of All-Star Battle. If they decide to switch up some of the really more difficult nodes later on, it's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be extremely difficult. Um, also, shout out to this Rodan wave. It is not the peak farming wave, but if you want some quick, easy kills for the achievements, wave 28... It's pretty good one to do it on. You just get a bunch of free Rodan kills pretty much right there. There's another wave. I think maybe it was in the previous video. Or maybe it's just later on in this one. But it's like a ton of Gigan. It's like every like three seconds a Gigan spawns. That also is a pretty good way for farming. Mainly because the Gigans cannot fight back except against your leader. So... If you're looking for quick and easy kills for most characters, that Gigan farm is probably also going to be pretty good. The wave that's like best for farming is is going to be just better in every capacity, but the Gigan wave is fun. That's what I was doing um, when I needed like specific character kills. I was doing it on the Gigan wave. I don't remember for who it was a few months ago. Maybe it was like Gigan 04. I needed Gigan 04 kills or Kiryu kills or something, but... That's what I chose to do it on the Gigan waves. This is easier. It's just easier because the one wave is like a bunch of swarms. And if your character is not a, like adept for swarm kills, then you're going to have a bad time. But the Gigan one is really good for single target attackers. So it was a no-brainer in that department right there. Uh, I probably could have used Kamen Rider's ability here to stop those guys from attacking. Uh... And I didn't. So now I have like this guy, literally this fire is on pixel health so ridiculous and I'm, I'm i'm such a dummy and i mean people who watch the channel for a long time and even people who fight me on stream know that i always 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 forget that i even have a leader ability to use right i got an itch on my nose no boogers just an itch it's allergy season still it's killing me i'm sure you guys could relate but I always forget to use the leader abilities. It's like my biggest flaw. And if you can just keep me occupied on the battle, like I totally space out that I have like an extra ability. So could have used it here to secure the dub, but I didn't. And we got it anyway. Just took us a little bit longer. Probably honestly would have shaved off like a minute and a half off of my total time. This was like 20 minutes to blow through all of this. Usually when I do all-star battle and it's on stream, it takes me about... 
like an hour and a half to get through it all. But most of the time that we're doing this on stream, I'm like bullshitting with chat and I'm not really paying attention, especially during the first half of All-Star Battle and the first half of our streams for the second half of All-Star Battle. I know I'm saying half a lot here, but it's true because during the first All-Star Battle part, super easy. I just blow through it. It's not even a big deal. The second half of All-Star Battle doesn't really start getting difficult, at least for me, until the mid to low 80s. And... At that point, that's when I, like, focus up. I, like, stop reading chat. I kind of let chat, like, do their own thing. Uh, and then I try to, like, really zero in. And I'm looking at chat, like, in between, like, my deaths. Because I'm ob I obviously die. Although, within the last few months, I have been pretty good about surviving and beating the waves until 90. So, that's a positive. And I hope that trend continues with this all-star battle. Because my common rider at the rented level is, like, 17 or 18. So, that's huge. Also, this is the farming wave, by the way, is 33. So I'll include that here, I guess. And maybe I'll put it in the title of the video just to get people to click on it. But this is the best way for farming. I don't believe in this gameplay. I do it justice enough, but it is the same wave to farm that has been like the wave to farm for the last however many all-star battles, except this time at the end, they did revert this. So a few months ago, it... A few months ago, and when this wave first uh, dropped, it ended with a destroy a perfect form that spawned another larva. And, you know, you play this wave and it's like destroy a, like swarm, 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 aggregate form, swarm, 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 flying form, swarm, 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 perfect form. They had changed it eventually to make it like two flying forms. And they, it was basically the same wave, except the perfect form wasn't there. So you didn't get the extra destroy a destroy swarm that spawns from him. They reverted it back to how it was a few months ago. So now you do get that extra destroyer swarm on wave 33. So check that's checkpoint 31 and then 32 and then 33. 33 is what you want for farming. But there's also bases on 31 and 32 if I'm remembering correctly. I know there are bases if they're on both of them. I don't totally remember. One of them has an M-Bot and a chopper base. So if you take them really, really, really slow to maximize the kills, you're going to get a lot out of it. But for me, I'm like goofing on it like so hard because my characters at this stage in the game are just one shotting pretty much anything. And the emblem base, I think it's on wave 31, spawns like right in front of your leader and with common rider, it's like over. So if you're careful with the emblem base and the chopper base, with like, you know, keep it single target. You'll be fine, but if you do any AoE, you're just going to ruin the farm, at least prior to 33. But wave 33 is, is what you're going to just want to be doing anyway, right? It's what you need to be farming. That's going to be the best option. Back to the gameplay at hand, though. I wanted to see how much damage I would do with the Stealth Bomber. I recognize there is a Burning Godzilla there, and the leader can fight back. But I just wanted to see, for science's sake, what the damage was looking like at wave 36. My stealth bomber is level 15, so I don't know what level this Jet Jaguar leader is, but at any case, it is still pretty formidable, at least to the level 15 bomber, which isn't saying much, but it gave me a good gauge on what the health was looking like for him, because I like to like test the waters. I don't really know the levels for the all-star battle pieces, I guess. No, Toho doesn't tell us. They have like a recommended level like area when you click on a mission but i am pretty sure that is for your unit level like your average unit level not your average player level so i think we're in like the 13s or something like that now so maybe he's like a level 13 leader but i'm almost certain that the four star leaders in all-star battle are significantly stronger than toho is leading on so let's see what the recommended is here i gotta buy the tickets so i think this is the only time i had to rebuy tickets so level it said level three I, I don't know. Maybe that is player level. Maybe that is player level three. I, I can't imagine this is you could pass this with all level three units, right? So maybe that is player level and I'm just like smoking crack or something. But um, now I lost my train of thought, actually. Uh, I don't remember. Someone in the comments will let me know. We'll circle back to that. Uh, now I don't even know what I was going to talk about. I was rambling about something and I knew exactly what I wanted to talk about. And now I don't know. So we're just going to go through with this gameplay again. I did my purchasing of the next four tickets so I could get 
more I, I used 150 gems to get more tickets so i could do the rest of this all-star battle i will be able to ride those tickets all the way to wave 48 and then 49 50 51 i'm going to end up buying for 80 points for 80 event points one ticket so i can just knock out the final bits of this whole thing and i don't recommend that players even buy the tickets for the 80 you know I, I see a lot of players using event points to buy the tickets and i see a lot of players using their event points to buy the gold and those are generally the two things i stay away from in all-star battle the event tickets for points because you can just for 150 gems which is not a lot of gems to completely max out your um tickets for the event that's a really good deal because if you look at the ticket prices, it's 80 per ticket. And let's say you have the battle pass, so you can do four tickets. It's 84 times. Some of these achievements for getting kills only give you 50. So the tickets, if you're buying an event ticket with your event points, it costs you way more. But you can get 150 gems just by doing like your dailies or through the battle pass or like through that section in the store, right? So you can get gems pretty easily. I think that it's a waste to buy the tickets with your points. I, I sometimes I think it's a waste of buying the gold. The only times I ever recommend buying the gold with the event points is if we know for certain we're getting some kind of level up event coming. If we're getting like the 30% off event or we're getting like, um, there was another event that was really good too. I don't remember what it was. But regardless, if we know we're getting like a gold spending event that's on the horizon, then stocking up on gold is usually what I recommend. But um, I know a lot of new newer players buy a lot of gold and then use that to try to level up their characters. But in my mind, and I know that there could be like actually a better reason than what I'm giving to buy the gold with the points. But in my mind, from a lot of the other free-to-play games that I've played, my mindset is... I do not want to spend a limited event currency on currencies that I can purchase or not purchase the currencies I can grind for free at any time. And maybe that's just that's just me from playing like the other games that I play, right? Marvel Strike Force, uh, now Marvel Snap, right? I'm playing a lot of Marvel games. Uh, I used to play World of Warcraft a lot. I'm playing Destiny all the time. People in my Discord know that I'm like obsessed. Uh, but anything that you get like a premium currency in, I don't you know you have the premium currency that you can spend on limited items or the regular currencies that you just get by playing the game if you just play a lot you'll get that regular currency right and to me that's what the gold is you just play the game and you'll get I mean, I was looking at something you just play the game and you'll get the currency right so in my mind i'm just like not really see the value but i know there's a lot of players especially newer players who do not have like their star boosts in the studio mode up high enough so like i have like an eight or nine percent boost to all the gold i gain in the arena because of the star uh studio battle and the star boost because every time you put a level in in studio mode you get like 0.1 percent towards your gold yield every battle and i know like my eight to nine percent like isn't a lot but it's more than new players right so the new players will see the gold as valuable but I think a lot of long-term players probably don't need to be buying the gold, especially if you're grinding a lot. And I know a lot of you are grinding. But I guess at the end of the day, it's just personal preference. I don't generally advise buying the gold, but it is what it is. I mean, you get a lot. I just got 170 from this checkpoint. I'll probably get like 180 from this one. So I, I guess take it or leave it, right? You can buy the gold. You cannot buy the gold. But all I really can say for the 100% certainty is don't buy do not buy the tickets with your event points. I only do it so I can finish up the content because I also have like 13,000 of the points like saved up. So I've had them for a long time. So I can afford to just drop 80 on one ticket. But I've seen like newer players spend like whatever it is. What is it like 20 something or 200 something uh, tickets to just to refill their thing for one shot. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys that's my rant it's my rant about the event tickets now i gotta find something else to rant about uh don't buy the gold map during the first half of the all-star battle that's in the store wait for the second half uh it looks like also now that we have the egg event that the um event point store doesn't last season to season anymore so you have to buy the legendary map now like, not now, now, but, like, in the season that it is. Because we, we used to be able to 
get and hold 2,000 of the event points, wait for the next season, the event store would be active, and then during the next season, you could buy the legendary map that was in the event store for a chance to get the new character. But as of last season, they didn't let us do that. So last season with all the Evangelion units, there was a legendary map in the store. However, the date for the event store going away was also the same day as the season was ending, which has not happened before. So that was a little weird. And I, sus I haven't looked at the event store changeover yet. Or, like, I have looked at it, but I don't remember what it is. So, it could very well also be the same situation this season. If you are at all curious about it and you want to get a free chance at unlocking next season's four star, whatever it may be, I would double check your store for your event point store today and just make sure so you have clarity of mind that that store will be there when you're ready to buy the pieces. Otherwise, you might as well just buy it like today or something. We're not getting any other units this season. And if the if the box doesn't go over into the next one, you might just want to pick it up for a chance at whatever. I myself am personally probably not going to buy it. I like saving up my points for the cosmetics, especially if it is for a event crossover like the GVK stuff or the Japanese Hero Universe stuff. And I like to buy all the units. They've been adding a lot more units into All-Star Battle store like... I, I will put like $100 that they probably sell us Kumo Augment pieces next week, right? Or whenever this refreshes for All-Star Battle. Uh, there's a Common Rider piece in there right now if you haven't bought it. There's a Desgadora piece in there if you haven't bought it. Maybe they add another Common Rider. I don't know. But uh, last All-Star Battle, they had like, what, Unit 1, Unit 2, and Unit 0 in there or something. So you never know what they're going to pack in there these days. You just always got to be careful. So I like to have at least 10,000 of the event points saved up just so I can get whatever I want. I don't really have to stress about it. The biggest ticket item is the G material. I always buy that and then I always buy whoever the featured character is. So uh, we can actually take a look at the store now. So it refreshes in 18 days from here. This is me buying the ticket, by the way. So in 18 days, one, two, oh, that was from yesterday. So one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18. Yeah. Okay. So that ends, that ends when the new season goes live. I, if I'm remembering correctly, the new season starts on April 27th or 28th. So that event store will go away when the new season begins. If you want to pick up anything from that legendary map, go for it also can we take a moment to recognize how much of a shame it is that they've nerfed this wave into oblivion checkpoint 49 for months and months and months and months was like the premier farming wave there was like a ridiculous amount of choppers there's a all those super x's all those bombers there's just so much to kill here so much and it was so easy wasted gone they nerfed it. That's how you know they're watching my videos, man, because I'm the only one even talking about what the best farming wave is and like any of the battle line content online, right? I'm telling you which is the best. They have to be watching the videos. I mean, I know they are, but because they directly nerfed that. They nerfed that thing, right? So that is what it is. I know you're watching, Toho. Nerf kumo augment for the love of god nerf him oh my god there's no reason i'll make a rant video about this i'm sure at some point there's no reason a three star three cost character same cost as emba by the way the emba pair should be running the meta as heavy as it is there's no reason for it it's disgusting and i don't like it nerf him please nerf him thank you very much that's my rant about kumo augment I'm sure I will either on stream, whenever the next stream is, be super salty about him, or I'll just get so fed up playing ranked today that I'll just make a video about it anyway. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to spend more time on Kuma Augment. This is the final wave, wave 51. Uh, I do, I think I cut out, I recorded myself opening all my rewards from this, but I'm pretty sure I cut it out because i didn't get anything good out of the boxes so i'm not certain that that is there but this is the final wave 
Uh, you can see here, Unit 2, a great display of her not being able to target things correctly. But this is the uh, nail in the coffin right here. Unit 2 is going ballistic, and Space Godzilla is giving her that buff right behind her. There we go, done. Mechagodzilla 21 is a leader, not even scary as the final boss for the first half. Mechagodzilla leader, these leaders don't even use their abilities either. If these characters use their abilities, it'd be much, much tougher. But uh, yeah, so I guess that was it, and I didn't show the rewards. I got nothing. I basically got like Dorrance and Energy Base and King Caesar pieces, is what it is. So. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this conversation with me. I was just talking to myself, but I do enjoy our very one-sided conversation. So let me know if you like this video, and uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.